This is a Mazda CX-7 2.2 TD. It's the Sport Tech model, uh, five door, 2010 on a 60 plate. Has done 87,288 miles. Uh, fuel economy, urban 31, extra urban 42.8, and combined is 37.7. Um, North 60 time of 11.3 seconds, and the top speed of 124. Um, we've had a few of these in the past and uh, they're, they're usually really good sellers very good specification nice driving position look good um, and economical as well I'll just take you for a ride in it let's just see where there we go so there height and reach adjustable steering wheel Uh, finished in dark blue metallic I think yep it's finished in dark blue metallic with black leather turn up to the crash Right, well, what have we got? Electric seats. Let's get a bit further down. And there we go. Got a multifunction steering wheel, and that's like mission control. Uh, I'm assuming uh, cranking. Nav controls on the right hand side, speaker controls on the left hand side, cruise control here, and also there. Wipers on the right, rear wash wipe as well. Indicators left, headlights left as well. Your um, climate control. I would go with a few of the switches on the steering wheel as we're going along. CD radio, it will have Bluetooth hands free. Got cup holders, heated seats, front central armrest. In the front central armrest, there's another power socket for a charger. You've also got a power socket just here. You've got power folding door mirrors, electrically operated door mirrors from the switch here, electric windows, a nice clear display there with uh, red numerals. Rev counter on the left, speedo in the centre. On the right hand side, you've got your mileometer, temperature gauge, and also fuel gauge. You've got sat nav in the centre there, and your radio display to the left of that. You've got a six speed gearbox. Oh, got both speakers as well. And uh, they're a fantastic addition to any car. for a big car and it's a horrid day in the UK today gale force winds um, with this being a fairly high sided vehicle I expect uh, it to uh, wander a little bit today but we'll, we'll see Nice and quiet. Got a rear load cover, folding back seats. Pretty sure it has a reversing camera as well. 
just see what we can do with them now from here. So that must be. No, just switch nav on info, maintenance preferences, distance units. amazes me you're not allowed to talk to anybody on the phone but you've got all these switches all over the place that you can play about with no problem and I think that's more complicated messing about your fuel computer if they didn't want you to do that they wouldn't allow you to do it when the car was moving so Back, back, reset averages. Handling is nice. just to uh, buy a car from us uh, hopefully he's happy with the car he's bought and uh, we'll go on to sell this it's always a good sign that people are prepared to jump in their car and travel a few hundred miles to uh, come and buy a car at least we know then there's, there isn't usually anything wrong with it and it's not going to break down piano black and uh, silver effect around the gear tunnel leather's really really comfortable and nice 
yeah we've got lum lumber that's nice lumber support in the back um, seat rest switch and again matching silver to go with the gear tool and also on the uh, three spoke steering wheel it's already pretty clean in here and uh, on the outside Lance as soon as we've uh, made sure it's okay Lance will uh, detail it it'll be like new Brakes are good, no shakes when we're uh, pulling up. Very nice to drive. As I say, it is a foul day in the UK really strong winds and it's it's not affecting some cars are affected more in crosswinds and usually it's uh, the, the higher type the SUVs uh, but uh, no problem The thing is, some of them just come through or come to with a, a bit of a clean of the blades, especially after summer. Nobody's used the wipers for ages except to just get flies off the screen. Gearbox is just uh, it's sublime, really. Just, Can switch here. The climate control switches, dials. Just make sure it's uh, cooling. Yep, nice and cool coming through there. Another thing off the checklist. watching this video on our website if you click in the top right hand corner there's uh, at least two other videos well, one's a website trailer video one's a full video of the car inside and out and also there's a, a short video explaining how to get the best out of our website if you want a part exchange price you can get an instant part exchange um, and also a um, finance quote and you can even apply for finance online so uh, no need to get out of your chair and hopefully this drive reassures you that the car is uh, perfect in every way comfortable driving position I 
think I prefer this to um, things like the Qashqai and So it shows you where you are, there's a compass on the sat nav, set destination, enter address, input postcode. So we are Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Walkneydale, Preston, P, R, then it defaults automatically to numbers five four back to letters again that's uh, hopefully I'm not speaking too soon but this is one of the most uh, intuitive to use sat navs I've come across so Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Walkneydale, Preston PR5 4JS and then click the right arrow to go across to done, click enter by pressing the button in and click start. Destination has been set. Don't listen to the radio. sure about voice commands yet but uh, it's uh, showing me there to turn left in Not sure what's going on there headlights there as well auto wipers automatic dipping mirror by the look of it at all, just pulling up the hill, no problem. Fifteen hundred revs.
<laughs> People scare me. <laughs> good, good shirt. Fits in well at the garage. Back at the garage.